Hello, it's Crafty Ria. Welcome to another video. I'm so glad you're joining me today. Today we're going to make this adorable little suitcase. And it has the little wheels and the little bar, the roller bar. It has this little pocket here where you could put some goodies. And of course, it has some decorations on it. I made a little luggage tag for it as well. The dies we're going to use for that are these metal dies from Craftspire. I am part of Craftspire's YouTube program and this is a tutorial video from the last order that I received from them. They send me some products for free in exchange for videos and um, one unboxing video and two project tutorials. This is the second project tutorial from this order. I will put links to everything in the description box below, inc including my coupon code. The suitcase does make a box if you would like to have it open as a box. And you could use it to give a gift. So I went ahead and pre-cut all of the pieces that I need. I cut two of the main pieces, which is this part. This makes the box, and you do need two of those. So you will need one large sheet of cardstock for that. And here are those two pieces that I cut out. This second one I'll be doing in, as a pink suitcase. And then it's good to pick an accent color. So I picked this... Um, pink glitter paper for this one and I cut out one of these pockets and it does score the lines for you as well so I have that pocket this little piece here cuts out these little accent pieces these pieces here so you would cut that out twice in whatever accent color you desire I went ahead and used the um, pink glitter paper for that. To make the um, handle, there is this piece. I went ahead and cut two of them and I glued them together back to back so there is a clean edge on both sides and it's a little bit sturdier. And this piece here is the wheels, and I just cut those out of black cardstock. And it does cut the hole out of the middle. If you wanted to cut them out of silver and save that hole to make the uh, post in the wheel, you can. I just let the regular color show through. And then I cut some accent pieces. I cut two of these here strips. I'm not sure what they're really for, but I used them to make the closure. And I'll show you how to do that, but I cut those out of the same glitter paper. And then I picked a second color um, glitter paper to make the accents. This uh, starburst, the heart, for this one, I cut out a flower as well, and it, it comes with these pieces. It also comes with that uh, label piece as well. So I cut those out of purple glitter, and then I also cut a tag. It comes with this cute little tag, and I went through my sticker stash, and I put an E on it. It is the luggage tag. I already have these planned for... Um, somebody that has a name that starts with an L and a name that starts with an E. And if you're one of my family members, you'll probably know who these are going to. So anyway, there, so we have um, those pieces. I did not cut this one out. This looks like a little stamp. You can maybe make a little passport or something with that if you wanted. And of course, I didn't cut out that label, but all the other pieces I cut out. So let's go ahead and assemble this um, little suitcase. What I did when I did the blue one, I 
put it together and then I put these pieces on this um, the pocket on I think I'm gonna put the pocket on the other one first and then assemble it it might be easier so we have these two pieces and I went ahead and scored this one but I'll show you how it, easy it is to score it comes with score lines and you can easily see which way to fold it and I'm just folding it along all of these little score lines they probably don't show up very good on camera but you have that little lip there and there's another little lip here and then I just went ahead and folded this one up and then I'll fold these flaps in. I'm just using my bone folder. If you don't have a bone folder, um, you can use any flat surface, your fingernail, the cap of a pen, whatever you have handy. So this one is all um, folded up and you can see that makes half of the box and the other one makes the other half of the box. And I'll show you how I put those together, but first, I wanna put the pocket on. So we have the little pocket. I already scored the little lines. They were a little harder to score on glitter paper, but they're super easy to score on regular paper. And when you fold them over, the corners, overlap. So what I did is I took my scissors and I trimmed out that corner a little bit just to take some more of that bulk away from the corner. You don't have to do that, but especially with glitter paper, I think I want a little extra room there. So that's better. They line up better. And then I'm going to burnish them down really good with my bone folder. Just so they lay flat. And this piece here, it will be the front of my suitcase. And I do want to use this as a guide. And I will glue it down right there. I'm going to use wet glue for this project because it's a little more forgiving and it gives me um, a little more time to move things around. You can use certainly use any kind of adhesive that you like for this type of project. And then I will just place it Try to get it centered on that front panel and I will just place it here. Clean up any glue that leaks out. It does dry clear the glue. And I'm just going to hold it in place for a few seconds while it dries. Alright, so the pocket is glued on and I'm going to go ahead and glue the um, sides of the box together. I'm going to start by um, gluing this flap down to the um, inside of the box. And then the flap of the small piece here, I'm going to glue to that flap. So I'm gluing th essentially these two little flaps together. And then I'm gonna place them together, hold it up and look exactly where they line up, make sure they are lining up perfectly. And then I'm just gonna press them down real good, wait for my, wait a few seconds for my glue to dry. That's why I like using the wet adhesive. You have a minute to move it around. I'm gonna do the same thing for this one. I'm just going to glue 
one of the flaps to the inside. This way you don't have a piece that is kind of hanging out, dangling on the inside. Fold this flap in and then glue those two pieces together. And there you have your box taking shape. I'm going to put these two pieces, the two small flaps in, and I'm going to glue the back flap down first. And then you can use your bone folder or something to help push them down. And then I'm gonna glue the front flap. For the top flaps, I am not going to glue them down because I want the box to open. And as you can see, this is almost done already. I'm going to hold them closed and then I'm going to put these little pieces in the corners. My little decorative accents. I'll just put a little bit of glue on each corner. I'll do two at a time. And then just line them up with the corner of the box. And I definitely like to put these on after the box is put together so you can really line them up with the corner and they don't affect the bending of the box as you're assembling it. Okay, and then I'm going to flip the box over and put this on the back. Glue about, it doesn't really matter, about halfway down. Depending on how much of this you want sticking over the edge. Let's see how close I came. They're almost exact. That's funny. We could put the wheels on. I'll put a little bit of glue on the back of one of the wheels and then just stick it onto here. And I'll do the same thing for all four wheels.
And most of these little pieces you can cut out of scrap paper. The biggest two pieces you'll need are for the body of the um, suitcase itself because you need two pretty big pieces to make that box. And then to make the hinge, I have these, the two rectangle pieces, and I'm just going to fold one in half long ways. And I'm going to glue that just to the top portion here. And I'll let the back piece hang open. And then this piece I will glue to the back. It is a little bit longer than would exactly fit between those um, two pieces. So I'm just going to cut a sliver off of it. And then I will place, place it there. And I'm going to kind of curl it a little bit and bend each piece, each end back a little bit. So it kind of makes, um, has a little bit of room there. And I'm just going to glue each end that I folded back. So it has just a little bit of a gap. So this piece here will fit into it to hold the top closed. You don't want to make the gap too big, otherwise it will just come up. But there, that will hold that top closed. And then for this, I have this little piece. I'm just going to leave that loose in there. I think it's really cute. I have a heart and a flower. I think for this one I'll use the flower as the um, embellishment. And I'll just glue that to the front of the pocket and I'll hold it in place for a minute since it is sticking on glitter paper. I have a small piece of pink ribbon that I will use to tie the little luggage tag on. All right, so I just used a little bow like you would tie on your shoes. Super simple little bow. And then you have that luggage tag. So there, that is completely done. You can make them so they open, so you could put a little gift inside. If you're traveling with someone, it would be cute to either give them some money for the trip or maybe a lip balm or um, some candy or something like that to put inside of those. If you know someone that's going away on a trip, it would make a cute um, little gift box for a uh, like a bon voyage gift for them. Or if you're surprising someone with a trip for their birthday or something, this would be really great. These are adorable and so much fun to make. It's a, also a great way to use up your leftover letter stickers if you wanted to make a little gift tag. And you can even sign the back and who to say who it is from. I hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on how to make these little suitcases with this die set from Craftspire. Again, I will put all of the links to the products and also my coupon code in the description box below. Please be sure to check them out and use one of my coupon codes so they know that I sent you. If you have a YouTube channel, 
do check out their website. They do have a um, YouTube program that you just might be eligible for. So you'll want to check that out. Again, I'll have all the links in the description box below. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. And then also, please click on that subscribe button down there so you don't miss any other videos um, that I will be putting out. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate each and every one of you. And until the next video, you know what to do. Go get crafting. Bye-bye.